And now a page from our Sunday Morning Almanac, July 22nd, 1933, 85 years ago today. The day aviator Wiley Post made history. It was a time of heroes. Aviation was very much an adventure. For that was the day he arrived in New York in his plane, the Winnie Mae, after completing the world's first solo round-the-world flight, circling the globe in seven days, 18 hours, and 49 minutes, making just 11 stops along the way. New York City turned out en masse to cheer America's newest idol, showering tons of confetti, miles of ticker tape, on his triumphal procession through the skyscraper canyon a Texas native who lost an eye while working in an oil field. Wiley Post set many other aviation records as well. Go on, I'll see you in about six days. He was the first to pilot a plane at an altitude of 50,000 feet. And the first to get a boost from what was back then a relatively unknown band of air currents called the jet stream. To survive at that altitude, he wore the very first pressurized aviation suit. But Post's daring do caught up with him in 1935 when he crashed an experimental plane while on a journey through Alaska, killing both himself and his world-famous passenger, the comic Will Rogers. Wiley Post was just 36. His historic plane, the Winnie Mae, is now in the collection of the National Air and Space Museum in Washington. <laughs>